guys welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody today I am making something rainbow related rainbow balloon garland rainbow installation I don't know we'll see what I'm going to come up with why I'm saying that because if you've been following me for quite a while you know that I can start with one thing and then I can end it up with a totally different thing I hope everything's gonna go smoothly today Everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. Every balloon count, every link for balloons right there. And I will be using a mix of balloons. Some came from Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company. Some came from Amazon that I bought for such a long time ago. And they just been laying and waiting their turn. So today's the day. And without any further ado, let's go. Here is what I'm planning to use for today's video. This section over here came from Amazon from different listings, different sellers. I already had some pastel balloons and wanted to purchase more. I went back to the same seller and balloons were not available. So I tried to purchase from other sellers and match colors to my existing balloons. It didn't work out perfectly. I received pastel colors in different shades from my existing balloons. It's funny because sellers I bought extra balloons from advertised their balloons with exactly the same picture as my first seller and caption clearly stated that balloons will be pastel. I guess there's different shades of pastel. I guess my rainbow setup will be with a little twist with different shades of different colors. And this section over here came from Lauradell Paper and Balloon Company. I like their website. I love working with Qualitix. I highly suggest going and checking their uh, website out. If you're a new customer to Lauradell Paper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off. We have 16 11 and 5 inch balloons and right here we have 5 and 10 inch balloons with these balloons i am planning to use 30 or 20 pound fishing line electric balloon pump and if anything else i will let you know Ooh, low temperature glue gun for sure i am ready to blow all of my balloons so what i want to do is i want to I don't know what I want to. I think I will be pairing my balloons. So I am taking different sizes because there's different sizes of balloons. I'm gonna set, I don't know, maybe five balloons or a few balloons per color aside to blow it up individually and fill in spaces later. So I'm taking two balloons I am blowing them. I am using my electric balloon pump from Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company. I am blowing my two balloons at the same time. As soon as I'm done blowing my balloons, I am pressing my balloons against the floor to give them more rounder shape. And then I am tying them together into a pair like this. I am not mixing up the colors, obviously. I am blowing color one color at a time. So Let's keep blowing and let's, let's go. To construct our balloon garlands. I am making a few balloon garlands. I am working one color at a time. So I am starting with pink. Take your fishing line and tie your fishing line to your first pair. I am working with my 30 pound fishing line today because I am out of 20. So take a second pair, put your second pair right on top of your first one, pinch your pairs together with your fingers, take your fishing line and wrap around one of the balloons, pinch your balloons, pull on your fishing line, again around different newly placed balloon, pinch your balloons, pull on your fishing line, be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line, 
trishing line and curling ribbon can't cut your balloons so use a gentle hand and basically that's all you need to do to construct your balloon garland let's take our third pair again the same thing right on top pinch your balloons wrap pinch pull wrap pinch and pull keep constructing keep uh, building all of your colorful balloon garlands Secure your balloon garland, cut a long piece of fishing line, hold it with one hand, with your other hand, grab that tail and wrap around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop, take the tail and feed it through that loop, pull on your tail, do that a couple or a few times to make sure you completely secure your balloon garland. all of my balloon garlands uh, I don't know what color is gonna go after what I'll just figure something out I understand that rainbow has a specific color order I'm not going by the order looks like so we'll see what I will make over here so here is how I am building this rainbow I'm taking my balloon garlands and I am literally tying them together by grabbing extra piece of fishing line here is what i noticed to bring these columns together it's better to take your fishing line tie your fishing line to one of the balloons and literally just weave your balloon garlands together with extra fishing line it's going to be a lot tighter and it's going to be a lot faster looks like i don't know what just cluster of colorful balloons nothing like rainbow i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i honestly don't know you guys i always tell you not to blow your balloons with your mouth you guys don't do it it's very nasty balloons are treated with powders and chemicals you have no idea where those balloons laid before they arrived to you i mean my hands feel nasty after assembling this cluster of colorful balloons. <laughs> I want to wash my hands on camera and show you how nasty your hands will uh, look like and how much gunk and nasty things they pick up. Um, as I always say, use a hand pump or a cheap electric balloon pump or just don't use your mouth to blow your balloons. So let's wash our hands. Soap looks so yellow and so off white color usually it's like white um, foam but it looks nasty let's deal with white balloons i am blowing 11 inch balloons 5 inch balloons and i really want to use a lot of 16 inch balloons into my clouds I At this point, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's try something.
what I have for you guys today. This is my creation. <laughs> you guys, I feel like this is my worst performance balloon garland I've ever made. My first balloon garland uh, looked better than this. I don't know what this is. It's not even close to rainbow. I mean, the only thing that matches rainbow are the colors, but that's about it. I mean, I'm a human, I can mess up. <laughs> you guys, I I don't know what to call this, seriously. It reminds me of a little bit of fish, not rainbow. There's a mouth and there's a tail right there. I would consider this as a fail. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about balloons. This section over here, colorful balloons. I am very disappointed with the quality of these balloons. I lost a lot of five inch balloons. I would not recommend purchasing them. Maybe they laid for way too long, waiting their turn to be used. I have no idea. But these Qualitex white balloons, I love them. I love these balloons. Nothing popped, nothing deflated, nothing had holes. Uh, and I am very, very happy. This colorful section was built with a 30 pound fishing line and I added a few five inch balloons here and there just to fill in spaces with my low temperature glue gun. And these parts over here, they were glued on top of each other and glued to the main structure over here with my low temperature glue gun holds very well. Well, this whole structure right here hangs on one command hook you guys <laughs> if you're going to be doing this for yourself or a party add two more hooks one right there and one right here to make sure it's going to hold throughout the whole night i mean yeah all right you guys i am ready to finish this video up everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video the only thing i am not doing is I am not including the amount of balloons that I used because I have no idea how many balloons I used and I don't think I want to count you guys. I'm sorry, not in this video. All right, I will include a few pictures of this unknown creation at the end of this video and yeah, you guys, that's it. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends. That's always helpful. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.